Welcome back to Sub-Zero Hero, where it's the start of the 2037 Norwegian Premier Division season and it's our first campaign back in charge of Tromsdal and the club that sacked us four years ago. We're not one of the favourites for the title this season, but that is what we are going for and we kick things off today against Start. So form in pre-season has been pretty good, although we know that that counts for nothing. We've gone unbeaten and we've had some pretty notable wins during pre-season. We stuck six goals past Dinamo Moscow. We beat the German pairing of Armenia Bielefeld and St. Pauli. We won 5-0 in a friendly against today's opponent start, as well as getting wins against our local rivals Tromsø and a 7-1 win against Bart at Moscow. So the form is good, although I feel like that's setting us up for disappointment today. Let's show you the formation and the tactic that we've been using during pre-season that we hope is going to serve us well today. So when we returned to Trump's and halfway through the last campaign, we started off by trying to use the systems that had served us so well during our three years at Toulouse, but neither the three at the back system or the more narrow four-man central midfield seemed to get the best out of the Tromps Darlan players, and their defence looked incredibly shaky, particularly when we had some youngsters playing in the back line. So, we're going to try and give the team a little bit of solidity at the start of this new campaign, we're going to be playing a 4-1-2-3. And it's all about having this player patrolling in front of the back four. Now he's going to be a creative outlet for us. We're going to be using young Stian Kirkvold there, who physically looks like he can protect the back four. Playing in this position is one of his favoured roles. He's branded as a defensive midfielder, and whilst his defensive capabilities are not incredible creatively certainly he looks like a good pick so this is the system we're going to use to see if we can get a winning start to our campaign I'm sure it will evolve during the season and maybe with some more experienced heads in this back four we might do away with the DM later on in the season we shall see how it goes so this is going to be our starting lineup for today's game we're going to be playing the loney French goalie Isaiah Monnier in goal. It's going to be his competitive debut for us. We're going to be playing another Frenchman at left back for today's game. Alban Delmar has struggled for injuries a little bit throughout pre-season. But he's going to be our left back today. Over on the right hand side, it's going to be a second competitive debut for Christian Bernson, only 24 years old. Could play in midfield for us later in the season. Right back this afternoon. We're going for experience as part of our defence for today's game. We're going to leave the Arctic Tiger on the bench. And for the opening day, we're going to be playing Trondagna Bratton, who really is going to be our leader back there, alongside the French-Moroccan Abdullali Lakassi. So we are going to have aerially a pretty good defence. Kirkvold's going to be in front of them, pulling all the strings. The energy in midfield is going to come from Ola Christian Breton. The attacking threat in midfield hopefully will come from Morten Sturvold, who was one of the players touted as the Norwegian Premier Division's top player for this season. And then up front, we're not going to let all of the Skogs out today, but Skogbang Pedersen is going to start for us over on the left-hand side, meaning that Roy the Boy can come in and be a right winger for us and hopefully get on the end of some crosses that come in from the left flank and then the man that hopefully is going to score the goals that will fire us into European contention is going to be Espin Larsen Pleem. We'll introduce you to more of our youngsters as we bring them off the bench today but let's get out there against start opening day of the season and see if we can lay down a marker for the rest of the teams to sit up and take notice of or whether it's going to be typical Trump Stalin disappointment. Okay, we are underway. Remember, we're starting our league campaign in what April time? Still a bit frosty out there on the pitch. We've got a couple of other bits of news to bring you up to speed on. First of all, we have signed another player, and it is another old boy. We noticed 
that another club came in with an offer for our old midfielder Kim Herram, who is about 26 years old now. They were only bidding 100,000 for him, so we thought, well, that looks like that could be a bit of a bargain to have another player to add some depth to our squad. So we snuck in, made a bid, it was accepted. He was happy to be no more than a backup player. And we were a little bit light in central midfield. So we've brought Kim Heron back in as cover, probably for Kirkvold in that playmaking position, just in front of the back four. This first half has raced through with just one highlight. We've had plenty of shots, but not really looked like finding a breakthrough as of yet. And we're already at half time. I think it's best that we go and tell the boys that we're going to expect an awful lot more from them, given that we're the home team in the second 45. OK, we're back underway. No changes, but we've had some pretty tough words for them at half time. And it's forced a highlight pretty early on in the second half, although one that doesn't look like it's going to be for us. They're raiding down our right flank. We've won the ball back. We've gone long. And here is Espen Larsen Plein flicking it onto absolutely nobody. And we've got to win the ball back all over again. It's in the centre circle. And maybe this is going to be a start highlight after all. They're looking to build through our midfield. We've got the numbers back, but... As you've seen so many times, that doesn't necessarily mean a thing. And Delmar has just slipped on the surface, made no challenge whatsoever. And the highlights are now coming thick and fast. We did say that we had big men at the back to bring up for set pieces. And our first goal of the new season is scored by Abdullahi Lakassi. He was clearly listening at half time when we were thrashing our arms around. And Sturvold gets his first assist as the season is thrown in. An indirect free kick. And Lacassi has got on the end of it. That other bit of news we've been checking on. Trumps Darlin's facilities as we pause it. And I think we might make a little change here. And although they've not improved their youth facilities or their, their junior coaching since we've been away. It looks like they have made some little improvements to the stadium. Because they've now got more than 2,000 seats in the stadium whereas before I think it was in the low hundreds so clearly they've made some little upgrades to the facilities and we've got more than 1,000 season ticket holders now and I don't think we had that before I went away so those are both welcome bits of news what wouldn't be welcome is an equaliser for start we're on 65 minutes and we're relying on Monnier in goal to keep our narrow lead, Lacassie looks like he is radiant in the air this afternoon. But the highlight still goes on. Sturvold's won the ball for us. He's gone long. Roy the boy's chasing it down. He's thumped it out. And I think we're going to go in and maybe make another change for the final 25. Okay, we've made another little change. Skogdal is on. He's meant to be the skipper of the side. As you can see from the match stats, we've had... Lots of shots, lots of possession, without really doing too much this afternoon. And I think we're going to make our final change. And I reckon we might bring the Tiger on. Players a box-to-box -box midfielder. He has been developing incredibly well in training. Is our top training performer seemingly every week. And we're going to try and get him as much game time during the season as possible. Last season, when we were bringing him as a centre half, which is where we see him playing. He was prone to the odd rash challenge and giving away some penalties. So maybe bringing him on in midfield occasionally might just protect our back line from him diving in too much. Something we're hoping that he'll grow out of as he matures a little bit. We've got Sturvold on the ball. Here's the playmaker Kirkvold. A second goal would mean this was a little bit more comfortable. Larson Pleem has the chance. We open them up nicely. We've brought Larson Pleem in really to be hitting the back of the net with chances like that. Not striking the foot of the post. We're on 85 minutes. We're attacking once more. Kirkvold looks good in that deeper position. There's the Judge Reinhold. Who really impressed me during the second half of the last campaign. We've brought him off the bench. 
And he's had a header that the goal is saved. We need to win this ball back in counter because they look like they are pushing plenty forward. It's a shot for them. It's gone wide. This game is still pretty finely balanced. We've kicked the ball through to the Tiger. He's got it out to Burnson. Not seen anything from our fullback so far this afternoon. Now we have. He's got it through to the judge. The judge has won a corner. We know that we've got some big players to bring up, including the Tiger, who's in midfield now, by the way. This one, I think we might go short. The judge is over the ball. This is not really the marker that we were hoping to lay down to the other teams as we somehow find ourselves offside from our own corner. We're in the highlights again. The judge has looked lively since he's come on. Look at him skip through and he set one up for Larson Pleem. He hits the target this time. Larson Pleem opens his account for the season. But look at the judge. Doesn't have the attributes that many of his counterparts have. Every time he seems to get game time, he looks really threatening and he's got an eye for goal as well. So, expect the judge to feature for us during this season. I think this has got to be the last highlight of the game. We're over the allotted added on time. The Tiger brings it away. He's felled. We're now nearly a minute over the four minutes added on. The referee has called it solid. If not spectacular, I think you would say. Eight shots on target, a healthy XG. Possession that's gone over 60%, maybe. We didn't create enough guilt-head chances to really blast start away. But we will say that's a good win. We'll get the morale up at the start of the season. And we are at least underway in our first full season back in charge of Trump style. And we'll see... Rose and Borg look like they've made a pretty strong start to the season. We're expecting Boda Glimp to be strong this season, as will Valerenga and Mulder. But our job is to try and be up there with them. We're going to go offline, get the early part of the season underway. By the time you come back, we'll see whether our new batch of Sub-Zero heroes are living up to the high hopes that we've set for them.